Hello, this is Yellow Hobo, and we're doing Timberborn for episode 11 now. Crazy, man. I haven't done a Timberborn series this long and it seems like forever. We're having fun on this, though. Um, whoop, that was hard auto saves, huh? But anyways, uh, we are getting ready to get this drought going, and on top of that, we had already set up a district over here. Uh, our plan is to cut through these woods, and uh, I restructured my dis or my distribution post so they daisy chain instead of like run the whole way over. I feel like that's gonna make it a lot faster. It seems like I'm getting wood a lot quicker. I mean, this is filling up fairly quick, so we can only hope, right? <laughs> but our plan is today is to shoot this down all the way maybe scooch around all this stuff and then I might get rid of some of these carrots as well just because they're struggling to keep up with the demands on that but without further ado let's jump into this so a 16 day drought I feel like it's getting it's it's bogging down on me so I don't know what's going on with it but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain at all. Since we have a good bit of golems, I think we're gonna replace the beavers working here and actually put them all as bots. That way, because this is like a central distribution point, that means they can literally go 100% of the time all the time. So I think that'll benefit us as a society. All right, so we've cut through this forest pretty, pretty extremely. Got some beavers with nothing to do in range is what it says. That's okay. That'll be completely fine. They'll live. We don't need that one. We need a little single. Eh. There you go. Couldn't get a good angle on it there. Don't y'all hate that when you can't really see what you're doing? It bothers me. Uh, bothers me so much. So long term, we're setting it up. I know it's going to be in the way, but uh, right now I don't really, we're not prioritizing getting this wall built. We'll just build it in line and get rid of the trees as we go. But I put my maples, so it's probably going to be, I mean, it should work, but I mean, you never know, right? All right, so these guys cannot cut right here. That's okay. We're just gonna move them down here real quick. All right, so we're starting to build these walls now. And looking pretty good so far. Both sides are working on it. Gotta love whenever they work together. These should go faster, possibly, just because like once I get into these two societies, they have a lot of free beavers. Lots and lots of free beavers. So now we got a scaffolding set up just getting it built so we can reach these topper portions and I don't want to go up and over this mountain that I've uh I was just me playing around with terrain blocks but you know enough said about that also we built this little farm area I decided to keep this we're just gonna need to let the drought do its thing and take this water all the way down and it being cut off it should go down fairly quick hopefully so I guess we'll see Time for science. Very interesting. Me watering a swamp farm. Oh no, we got one stranded. <sighs> How the heck did you do that? Hold up. This is uh, kind of impressive. I don't, I don't know how he did it. I don't even know how to get you down without tearing down the whole wall, bud. Um... How? Uh, let's do this and maybe he'll get back down. Come on. There you go. Oh, look, you built that too. Good on you. Maybe they'll build this first. So it's going pretty smooth. I had them build this up and whatever offset wood they get and whatever offset wood they send to is all coming here so hopefully that helps out just a tad bit i'm about to sink this 2500 science into this because we 
we kind of need the bots to be making this. Have less than a day left on this drought. And we're doing pretty good. We put a new uh, distribution post over here. Might switch out the two for this, though. Just to make it a little healthier. I don't know. Feel like that's necessary to happen. So drought has ended. Perfect. Now we need to get our water. Uh, well, it's not even that bad. For being honest with each other. I wonder what it's going to throw me next. It's probably going to be a bad one. I feel it. Feel it in my bones. So it's day eight now, and we're finally about to go into another drought. We're slowly but surely making this happen. We've got it already spent all the way over here. So, I mean, we're getting a little head start on the next district, but we're making good progress. I don't know if I have enough time to actually get everything built, though, unfortunately. Let's see if I was right about this. Is it going to be rough? 30 days. I knew. <laughs> I knew it was going to be rough. Uh, we got this. So a little bit of progress report going on. We're almost done assembling this portion. Now we got to start moving on to this. Our trees should be ready to go here pretty soon. 69%. Yeah. And then these are like 80. Yeah, 83. Our little forester took his sweet time planting. But it's alright. We're going to make it still. And good news is we're going to be getting, you know, more lumber that's closer. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it getting transported. Eight days into the drought and we are moving along pretty nicely, actually. I'm working on emptying these out so I can actually start this process as well. Because we're going to have to build up and over this. I can't build it on the road. So we're going to have to build it pretty much right in line with that. And these can just stay here until I don't need them anymore. So that's always a bonus, right? Ooh, first trees. Yes. Now we have to pay attention. So I can put my wall down. So we are getting closer and closer to meeting in the middle. I think the district gates are right around here. So it'll really depend on where they actually end up. Ooh, those autosaves are way too hard on the system, and I don't know why. We're also working on cutting this down, because, you know, I kind of want to wrap the whole map. But that means whenever we get to that point, we're going to need to actually probably remove some of this stuff. Because I want to actually get everything... At least this wide going back the other way. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. Should I go wider? Not so big? It really, really up to y'all because I won't be doing it this episode. We're so close. Also, I got explosives, but I need to. We need to make sure it's not time when we set these off so uh, no beavers are casualties of me not paying any attention when they cross. Or they'll juke move me, and I uh, won't be paying attention to that either. Uh, come on. Pluck the carrot. <laughs> That's what happens when you have been working 20 hours a day. There you go. Give us a little bit more green. We're working on making a path so we can... uh. And it's not the prettiest, but I mean, it's, I mean, it works out better than just having a big old hole right here. So we're going to need to get it all built up and hopefully we can get that done pretty soon so I can plug this gap as well. Two days of less drought left to go and we are getting close here. I'm about, I'm going to cap it off right here and then probably call it there, but yeah. And then we're going to probably just delete this whole society for real this time now. We're getting closer. They're still building from the bottom now. And we're going to have to cap this off too, which is unfortunate. Because it's a nice quick transport. I guess I really don't need the transport though anymore. Because I've been pushing my first district to this district's wood. So, 
Had to do something, I'll offset it. The drought has ended. Nice. And we're putting another forester in this bigger district since we have a plethora of people. Dead? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, why are those dead? But uh, I remembered that they were there whenever the map was started. Yeah. that That's me. I forgot. Okay, got a little 17-day drought. Not too horrible. We're slowly but surely making it on this bad boy. Should be able to do it in between the drought, so let's hope for the best, right? So we had to move our district center because we couldn't reach all of this. So, I mean, little tip for you if you didn't know, you can move your district center, keep all your beavers here. It's really not that hard, uh, but I mean, all you do is delete it because it was right here, and I just moved it until I could get in range of where where I could see I could hit everything. So, yeah. Have fun with that. We're so close to having this done now. This is perfect. Probably won't let y'all have the joy of seeing it actually get filled up this episode though. Because uh, I need to go to bed. Y'all are probably thinking there's not a video coming out. Which I mean. It ain't going to be out before tomorrow. But. Because it's almost midnight here, which is a very unfortunate. Because old Yolo decided to take a nap when he came home from work because he was tired, and that's complete. And uh, yeah, it, it did not uh, work out as planned because I thought I was going to be sleeping a little less than what I slept. So there is that. And I do apologize for that. But, anyways, it is complete. I guess this is a good spot as any to call it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we can go look at progress over at this place too. Which you can see we're not making very many logs just yet. But it's, uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> but on the next episode we're probably just going to cap it off right here. And then probably start working our way towards... The original town also I think I want to make the first blockade taller and I've already started putting in frames for it to see if I can actually fit it which it looks like I can so let's hope for the best on that anyways I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching everybody uh, I will try to get to your comments I always try to whenever I'm at work but you know how that is. But anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Goodbye.